Hello there everyone, my name is Nick and welcome back to Imperial Archives and its vlog series dedicated to Imperial Assault board game Unit Review. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Facebook as well as on Instagram for more amazing content. Links to them will be in the description down below. And following our skirmish hero review concerning Twin Shadows expansion, let's take a closer look on our Tatooine smuggler, spy and skilled technician female. Saska Teft is ready to join your rebel ranks for a reasonable price of 6 deployment points. Her base stat line is pretty much ok, as she has 7 health covered by white defense die. Great if you manage to roll a dodge, of course. Standard speed 4 is almost expected in this case. For attack, Saska relies on her upgraded blaster pistol with green yellows die setup. Outstanding for close to mid-range shots with accuracy from 2 to 6, thanks to her inherent passive plus 1 accuracy. I mentioned she uses an upgraded blaster and with it she has access to some nasty double surge bonuses too. They consist of another plus 1 accuracy with, with plus 1 damage, great to, to power up your attacks. And the Pierce 1 along with Disrupting Weaken and her soul plus 1 damage to finish off her opponents. Her special action, Unstable Device, is basically a grenade. While choosing a space within 3 spaces, you roll a yellow die. Damage is then dealt to any figure on or adjacent to targeted space according to damage results. Keep in mind, she will suffer 1 damage too, as it is unstable. If you've played her side mission during campaign, you may know she has some useful contacts among other smugglers. Thanks to that, she has access to ability labeled Shady Contacts. With it, you as a rebel player may include one non-upgrade scum mercenary deployment card in your army group. Rebellion boosts with hired guns, deadly turned oceans, or maybe you would go for more noun mercs like Bosk or even Boba Fett? The choice is yours to make. Her command card, Hidden Trap, basically blows up a terminal. Every figure it adjacent to selected terminal immediately suffers 2 damage. Either way, I find Saska to be a very interesting addition, be it a campaign or skirmish team. She is fun to play too, so that's it for our last hero from this box. Report finished. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this one, and if you did, do me a favor and hit that like button for me. Share your thoughts in the comments below, where your feedback is much appreciated, and show this to other players as it helps the channel to grow greatly. Have an amazing day, see you next time and may the force be with you.